Good evening, everybody. Well, my phone was blowing up today, and I really didn't have time to look at anything until this evening. And I read through the new deal with Broadcom. I got to tell you, OpenAI just threw down the gauntlet against every competitor. Let's get into it. Here are my raw thoughts. I don't think OpenAI is just in the business of building AI models anymore. It's now in the business of building the future of computing. Today, OpenAI made headlines again as they threw the gauntlet down against all their competitors. OpenAI's hardware trifecta is going to put a lot of pressure on Alphabet, Microsoft, Meta, and Amazon after the foundational deal with NVIDIA, the strategic partnership with AMD, and now the game-changing custom chip collaboration with Broadcom. First, OpenAI secured chips from NVIDIA after announcing their partnership on September 22nd. They will deploy at least 10 gigawatts of NVIDIA systems. NVIDIA intends to invest up to $100 billion in OpenAI as the systems are deployed. This is not just a customer supply relationship. It's a deep financial and technological alignment. The first deployment will use NVIDIA's next generation Vera Rubin platform starting in the second half of 2026. This gives OpenAI access to the most advanced technology from NVIDIA, which is the market leader. This is also OpenAI's move to secure massive at-scale compute power. They're locking in a foundational supply from NVIDIA, which dominates the custom AI chip market. Next, we had OpenAI announce another major deal with AMD last week which is a six gigawatt agreement to power OpenAI's infrastructure with multiple generations of AMD Instinct GPUs. This deal has a strategic structure as AMD issued OpenAI a warrant for up to 160 million shares of AMD common stock. The first deployment will also be in the second half of 2026, along with the new NVIDIA chips. This is a strong supply chain diversification strategy for OpenAI. It prevents over-reliance on NVIDIA and creates competitive pressure on pricing and gives OpenAI access to a different chip architecture. This morning, they completed their trifecta as they announced a collaboration with Broadcom. OpenAI will deploy 10 gigawatts of custom-designed AI accelerators from Broadcom. OpenAI will design the chips and systems, and Broadcom will develop and deploy them. This will allow OpenAI to embed what it learns from developing its AI models directly into the hardware. This is about creating the perfect tool for the job, potentially leading to massive gains in performance and energy efficiency. The systems will be scaled with Broadcom's Ethernet and networking solutions, which is a critical part of building efficient AI data centers. This is OpenAI's vertical integration play. It's the same strategy Apple took with its A-series chips for the iPhone. By designing their own silicon, they control their own destiny and create a hardware-software synergy that off-the-shelf components can't match. When I put all this together, the 10 gigawatts from NVIDIA, the six from AMD, and another 10 of custom silicon from Broadcom, this is a total of 26 gigawatts of power. This is a three-prong attack from OpenAI as they will scale with NVIDIA, diversify with AMD, and innovate with Broadcom. OpenAI has been clear about its mission to build artificial general intelligence. The sheer scale of these deals indicates the importance of immense com computational power they believe is necessary to achieve the goal. These deals are a massive validation and provide a clear roadmap of what OpenAI is going to do. My key takeaway from all this is that the demand for AI compute is not slowing down, as I've continuously said. The bears, once again, I think they're wrong. This is just another indication of nothing slowing down. And OpenAI is a private company. They don't have an earnings call. They're just gonna announce everything. I really think that the other companies are going to have to come over the top or at least match this. So this really means OpenAI isn't just in the business of building AI models. It's now in the business of building the future of compute. And through these strategic deals with NVIDIA, AMD, and Broadcom, it's created a powerful forward-looking hardware strategy. I mean, this is like nothing we've seen 
And I really think that the amount of compute that they just signed, and keep in mind, September 26th, this was two weeks ago. Today's the 13th. A little over two weeks, they've done three major deals with AMD, NVIDIA, Broadcom. And they've done, gone across the whole value chain now. So they're also still going to be getting compute from third parties, but now they're going to be building, controlling, and keeping up with their own data centers. I mean, if this is an indication that AI is real and that what they are trying to achieve needs more chips, I don't know what is. This is bullish for NVIDIA. This is bullish for AMD. This is bullish for Broadcom. I mean, what was Broadcom up today? Hold on. Let me bring up values. I think it was 10% or so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Broadcom finished up 9.88%. It went up 32 bucks a share today. What did AMD do? A AMD went up on the news. They went up 7 tenths of a percent. And what did NVIDIA do? Yeah, NVIDIA is up 2.82%. It was up five bucks. I mean, this just goes back to, I think there's going to be a lot of winners. Energy is going to win. If you have OpenAI doing this, we're going to need so much more energy. And I just can't believe that Amazon, Alphabet, and Meta is going to allow this to happen without challenging them. They got to be thinking about who they're going to rely on, what type of deals they're going to do, and how this is going to change over the next couple of months and over the next couple of years. I mean, the... OpenAI just locked up demand that doesn't start shipping. Keep in mind, we're now in Q4, the very beginning of it. This doesn't start shipping for nine months. So I'm going to put out a video with a whole value chain of energy and other companies like Caterpillar that I think are going to do very well. I mean, there's so much components that we need for this. And this deal just threw the gauntlet down. I really think that OpenAI challenged everybody. I can't wait for the end of October, beginning of November, because I want to see how all the companies respond. I want to see how Microsoft responds. I want to see how Amazon responds, Alphabet, and Meta. Zuckerberg, he already said he's willing to lose hundreds of millions instead of underinvesting. Let's see what happens. But this is bullish. This is not bearish. And I think the bears absolutely have this wrong. And OpenAI just laid out the stack of what they're going to do. And I think a lot of people are going to follow. Those are my raw thoughts. I think this is bullish NASDAQ. I think this is bullish S&P. And I think this is bullish overall for tech. Have a good night. Those are my raw thoughts.